Today, let us learn what hundreds are with the colorful candles at the cake shop. We know that ten ones mean ten candles. So, when we group ten candles together, we get one ten candles. Nine tens, nine ones, candles mean ninety-nine candles. When one one is added to nine tens, nine ones, we get ten tens. Ten tens candles mean one hundred candles. So, when one candle is added to ninety-nine, we get hundred candles. That is when we add one to ninety-nine, we get one hundred. It is written as one zero zero, and it is read as. One hundred. The number one hundred is the first and the smallest three-digit number. Now, let us look at some more three-digit numbers and their number names. One zero zero. One hundred, two, zero, zero, two hundred, three, zero, zero, three hundred, four, zero, zero, four hundred, five, zero, zero, five hundred, six, zero. Zero, six hundred, seven zero zero, seven hundred, eight zero zero, eight hundred, nine zero zero, nine hundred. All three-digit numbers are placed in the ones. Tens and hundreds columns of the place value chart. Now let us see how the numbers one hundred to nine hundred are written in the place value chart. Let us start with one hundred. It has one hundred. Zero tens and zero ones. We place the one of the one hundred in the hundreds column. Then place the zero of the zero tens in the tens column, and the zero of the zero ones in. The ones column. Now let us take the number two hundred. It has two hundreds, zero tens, and zero ones. We place the two of the two hundreds in the hundreds column. Zero. Of the zero tens in the tens column, and the zero of the zero ones in the ones column. Similarly, for all three-digit numbers, the hundreds digit is placed in the hundreds column. The tens digit is placed in the tens column. And the ones digit is placed in 
the ones column. This is how the numbers 100 to 900 are placed in the hundreds, tens and ones column. Wow! Wasn't it easy to understand these three-digit numbers?